Welcome to eConcept. Our discussion will be about world class manufacturing. We will discuss what are its fundamentals, what are the key philosophies behind this concept, what are its enablers, and most 10 important pillars of WCM. We will start with a very simple definition of WCM, and that is it is a management concept which can be translated as a production on a global level. So we have two elements from this definition. One, one is production of some tangible good and that production is classified or is established at global level. So before moving on, I will give you a very simple uh, definition. What we mean from a world class player? A world class player is one of the best in its relevant field. The same formula applies for a world class manufacturing company, a company that is best and remains at top with regard to its competitors in the relevant field and the production of that company is established at global level. WCM is a continuous improvement system actually. So most part of the discussion will be about continuous improvement. The, now the fundamental principles of WCM are reducing wastages and losses in the system, improving the standards and methods in the system, involving all employees in the process of continuous improvement. The soul of this concept lies in this sentence, no procedure is flawless, there is always a room for improvement. So it's a continuous improvement system. Now what are the key targets of WCM? There are some zeros that we want to achieve and there are some hundreds that we want to achieve. So first, what are the zeros? Zeros accidents. We don't want any accidents, ac accidents in our system. Zero breakdowns, zero defects in our product, zero scrap and zero waste. Now what are the hundreds? We want 100% customer satisfaction. We want 100% employee motivation. We want 100% visible anomaly. Means we want to know about every variation in our system. Then we want to know about 100% deploy participation and 100% overall equipment effectiveness. Next, what are the key techniques and philosophies? Most of the techniques and philosophies lying behind this managerial concept of world-class manufacturing are related to lean manufacturing and continuous improvement system techniques. Just like make to order and that is related to just-in-time production and they both relate to lean manufacturing and then streamlined flows uh, there are no you know uh, fault uh, parts of fault procedures in uh, our flow production flow so we can achieve 100 percent efficiency small load sizes again lean concept families of parts doing it right the first time cellular manufacturing and there are some others too like quick changeovers zero defects variable variability reduction employee involvement quality control circles, multi-skilled employees, and in the last, we have statis, uh, statistical process control. Now, what are the key rules of WCM? We want that advice of the customer is heard to the last level in the organization. What is the last level in the organization? Those are the workers that tend to make the product. So if they do know what the customer wants, okay, what are the customer demands then they can work better on the product and this concept relates to internal customer actually one department is internal internal customer of some other department so next we have people are the driving forces of change very simple motivating environment all faults are visible we have discussed about visible anomaly before continuous improvement and uh, thorough uh, loss eradication, no type of waste is accepted, methods of improvement are applied strictly. Now what are the key pillars of WCM? First is safety. So we don't want any accident in our system. We already discussed that there are some zeros that we want to achieve like zero accident, zero breakdowns, zero scrap. So safety is one of them. We don't want any accident in our system. So we want a culture of prevention. Then comes cost deployment. Every problem in our system costs us in manufacturing industry. So we want to know about those problems and we want to know the effect of those problems converted into tangible measures like hours, energy, 
that what is the cost of that problem in terms of our for example if a machine gets faulty then our production process is going to be affected then what are the hours for that hours machine has been stopped what are the energy that has been consumed inefficiently then focus improvement this is very simple to reduce the most important losses present in the system and elim eliminating inefficiencies non to eliminate non value added activities so there are some uh, lean manufacturing techniques like kaizen 5s workforce contribution to reduce cost and attain zero waste so this is simple now autonomous maintenance this is concept of total productive maintenance that the workers can perform basic maintenance on the equipment or in the machines and they can uh, coordinate with maintenance team so that the equipment works more efficiently then comes the professional maintenance and that is about having a reliable maintenance model or a system for equipment maintenance or availability for most of the time and reliability of the uh, equipment so like a computerized maintenance management system and that maintenance system will tend to attain zero breakdowns with professional maintenance team here we have operators doing maintenance for base doing basic maintenance work on the equipment but here we have professional maintenance team then uh, comes quality control very simple to ensure quality products with zero defects to reduce non compliance to increase the skill of the employees next we have logistic and customer service we have two type of logistics inbound logistics and outbound logistics inbound logistics means that the materials are coming from supplier ends to our factory and outbound logistics means that our finished product is uh, going uh, to our customers okay to our uh, end users from our store and in between these two we have uh, products or materials moving from one working station to another working station and that is also a work in process inventory so we tend to find we tend to achieve 100% efficiency in logistics and customer service means to reduce significantly the levels of stock okay this is just in time concept to minimize the material handling even with direct deliveries from suppliers to the assembly line again jt concept ensure customers are satisfied through continuous flow of materials and attain zero shortages early equipment management this is uh, some but complex uh, uh, pillar actually first we will review the points to put in place new plants as scheduled to ensure a rapid startup and stability to reduce the life cycle cost okay to design system easily maintained and inspected we know that as a part top curve tells us the story that equipment do fail initially when they are purchased okay then we want equipment that have flexibility with regard to products means they can they are enable they are able to produce more you know designs or more products from one machine okay so here the point is that our uh, design department should work along with maintenance department so that the new equipment is purchased in such a way that we can maintain that equipment in a very effective way that is that equipment is easy to maintain in and as well and that is uh, flexible as well with regard to production next point is people development to ensure through a structured system of training correct skills and abilities for each workstation extinguishion humor errors developing employees in high level techniques making autonomous maintenance occur very simple point obtaining good results in process control motivating and involving employees and then the last we have environment that is about green environment to comply with the requirements and standards of environment management policies to develop an energy culture and to reduce energy cost and losses so that is all about green environment green surroundings so that was the end of our uh, topic of world class manufacturing i hope you like the topic and uh, if you liked it please subscribe my channel thank you